Hey, all right. Hey, everybody. RV enthusiasts here. Nice seeing you again. If this is your first time to the channel. Welcome. Hey, we're going to do a range test on none other than the Hay Bike Mars. We're going to see how far it goes, throttle only. I'm hoping for 20 miles. Uh, anything better is great. Anything a lot less, not so great. So let's get started and see what it can do. Um, 500 watt motor, 48 volt battery with 12 and a half amps. You do the numbers with my weight and everything, we should come out somewhere around 20. Let's get started and we'll uh, we'll travel along the way with body camera on and show you what we're all about today. All right, guys. All right, guys. We're starting out at 12.7 uh, miles. So whatever we end up with, we'll subtract 12.7 miles and see how far we've gone. Well, off we go, guys. Again, throttle only. So I know um, on some of the earlier models, there may have just been, I don't know. I, I got throttle in one, two, and three. I don't know if I got throttle in zero because uh, I haven't changed those settings yet. So this is going to take better than an hour uh, because I'm not going to go faster than uh, 20 miles an hour and I'm certainly not going to power the motor uh, full charge 20 miles an hour the whole way. That just, that's, not hard, that's not good for the motor. Uh, the bike's brand new. I don't want to put a bunch of uh, unnecessary wear on that motor before any kind of break-in. If there is a break-in, I don't know. But this is how we're going to do it. And if we can get 20 or 30 miles, great. Um, let's give you a weather update. The weather update is about 52 degrees overcast so you should get a little bit of blue sky over there but we should get a decent screenshot both ways coming and going but uh the the deal here is not to pedal and i'm in second going down this hill at 21 miles an hour 22 miles an hour uh there there may be times i use all the pas's uh Typically, uh, PAS2 and PAS3 are probably what I'm going to go in the most. Right now, I'm going to go PAS3 and get us up over this little ramp a little bit. This little hill, it's a little bit of a incline. Anyone need a bumper? A Jeep bumper? It looks like a, a lower end Jeep compass or something. Or Patriot <laughs> yeah so uh, a little bit chilly I'm gonna put my hoodie up and we're we're off and running man uh, I don't know how much beauty uh, you're gonna get from what you're seeing other than this handlebar view I may pull over a couple of times take a few photos take a little video might strap on the head camera Give you a little bit of that too. Okay, we're up the hill. I'm going to go back down to PAS2. I'm mostly going to share PAS2, PAS3, and we'll take that average and see what it does. So I know this uh, Bark Farm is about 1.1 miles from the house. You can see we're at 13.6 right now. Gonna hit 13.7. So we know the, 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 the speedometer is accurate. So we should be at uh, like 3.8 just as we kind of get up close to it. Yeah, I wanted to wait till next week because we're going to have some 60 plus weather next week to do this. 
when you look at some of the components, I'm going to go with the uh, the shifter right here. Sorry, a little bumpy road. And the derailleur I, train. Uh, yeah, I, I, I want to talk about those couple of things. Um, to start with, with an electric bike, uh, a, a, a electric bike that is uh, a hub motor bike, the way they work, you don't need a high-end derailleur and a high-end shifter because you don't use them that much. And as you can tell, I didn't take the plastic off this. I didn't take the plastic off my rear tail light. If there's plastic on this, I don't know that I took it off. It looks too clean to have plastic on it, though. Um, so, so the point is, you know, I, I understand the manufacturer saying, well, why should I put an Altus shifter on it or an Altus derailleur when you don't use in a, in a high-end chain when they're really not used that much? And, and they're not used under strenuous uh, use because, you know, most of it on these kind of bikes is uh, a little better than ghost pedaling. Uh, it's never uh, difficult. Whereas on the other bike, my 250 watt mid-drive, that needs to have a better derailleur, a better shifter, a better chain, because you are definitely putting stress on those items uh, when you ride. So, so you guys don't realize this. I rode this uh, <laughs> last week when I uh, when I showed you, you know, uh, you, you heard the noise on the back wheel. Um, so I rode this last week and uh, and had the noise. So you never got to see it uh, on this bike. But we're going to do it now. Yeah, the 10 miles was out to here and back and some other stuff. So so that's how I got 10 point something miles on it there. Goes around a quarter really nice. I like that. Okay, we're going to be going up a little bit of hills here. I'm going to put it into three so we can power through it. And a couple of things too. Uh, one person asked about changing another bike from a, a, a half wrist, a, a throttle twist to a thumbnail twist. So they watch all. They watch a lot more of my videos than you know just a hay bike uh, people might be watching. Um, and what I told them is, you know, I can't say much about it. Uh, I like the throttle shift, the, the, I like the uh, half throttle. But I told them on this bike, you know, I can't tell you because I don't even hardly remember pushing it. And I think that's the key. When you got your finger or your thumb on the throttle, it's pretty natural and pretty easy to basically forget that you got it there. Because, I mean, that's kind of how I ride anyway, or I put my thumb around it here. Um, so it's pretty pretty good. I, 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 I like it better than I thought I would. Um, I don't know if I'm a full get off the half throttle thing, uh, the twist throttle. I don't know about that yet. It'll take some time. It'd be interesting, too, to have a left-hand throttle to see what that is like. So I've been asked about the seat. How comfortable is the seat? Uh, at the end of the video, I probably won't say anything if it's very comfortable. I'll forget about it. Uh, but if at the end of the, the full throttle, full on use of the battery, if it's not comfortable after that amount of time, which better be more than an hour, it should be more than an hour, I'm thinking an hour and a half or maybe even two, uh, I'll let you know. But I was surprised taking off again that when I sat down on it, it squished down. It felt really good. I, I, like I said, I've never had a bike with a uh, with a suspension post, so it's interesting on little bitty stuff. I'm going to power up a little more because we're going uphill uh, with a suspension post uh, because uh, I, I, all my bikes don't have them. If I were a person that had one e-bike, I didn't have two or more. I got five actually. <laughs> Uh, in one e-bike, this and this was the one I got, and I, I would be okay with it.
this is this is a great e-bike actually for for RVers who you know and, and, and someone that's on a budget don't want to spend a ton of money uh, because you're already spending a ton of money on RVs and RV equipment and all that other stuff. Eleven hundred bucks is not chump change, and if you got to buy two of them, one for you and one for the DW, for those of you who are not uh, uh, RVers, DW is dear wife. Some people may say damn wife, but it's not. It's dear wife. <laughs> uh, you got to buy two of them. You're looking at. 2200 bucks that's not that's not easy that's not that's not chump change so if if you're RVing and you got under 2500 bucks to spend this is definitely uh, should be in consideration as one of your choices like I said this is the this is the range test no pedal uh, to see how far this goes on one charge it's important to some people. It's important to me. I know it's important when people review them. They're like, oh, how far will it go? Well, you're about to find out. And I can tell you this. If you don't weigh as much as me, you'll go further. Because weight plays a big role in these bikes. How much you weigh, how much it has to pull along, plays a big role. Uh, we've only down a bar. We're at 20.1 miles. We started at 12.7. So we're almost eight miles in. This should easily get 20 miles, is my guess. Uh, yeah, first first full uh, long ride. Long ride. I, I know people go, that's not a long ride. I ride 500 miles on my bike in, in 15 minutes, or whatever they say. But this was a nice ride. Um, so I'm going to turn around and head back. And we will... And we will keep keep rolling and see where we go. See how much we get. Great little ride. Great little bike. So far, it's been great. Yeah, it needs a clean. Needs a clean. That's interesting. That stays lit, too. Kind of cool. Cool little features. All right, guys. This feels really good right at this pace. Okay, guys, just so you know, I have not pedaled one rotation. This is all about range, no pedaling, throttle only. This is $1,100 bike. I just want to make that perfectly clear again. This is a $1,100, $1,100 bike. Also, if you buy... In May, I don't know if it's between now and May or just in May. I think it's in May, which is another month away. They have a um, souvenir, uh, let's call it an anniversary souvenir box with a gift inside of it. So you'll get something a little special from them to you uh, for buying their bike. And uh, I haven't dealt with a lot of people at Hay Bike. I only deal with one person, and um, she's been extremely, extremely nice, extremely uh, prompt. And if their customer service is anything like that, and you got to remember also that they're, they're, you know, China to here is a long way, guys. But if if they're if if their customer service is anything like she was oh my god this company is is good it's good company this is the main drag of this little city called North Plains I actually live in Hillsboro but it's just on the other side of the main road 
My son lives in North Plains. My older son does. Uh, but this is the main drag. There's nothing here. Uh, just a few little stores, a few little tiny mom and pop restaurants. Everything I see, I'm going to get 20 miles. And I know I rode some with my light, a headlight on, and I think I just played with the button, and it's on again. <laughs> Barely flat, still doing 19 in PAS3 on a flat road with very little charge in the battery. Uh, you guys, I don't know if you can see, to the right is my airstrip, and it's truly my airstrip. I own uh, one seventeenth of it. <laughs> Got to pay for it, but I don't fly, so it is what it is. <laughs> 25 miles, almost officially, as soon as that hits 37.7. There it is. That's 25 miles officially. And she's still trying to go. But you can feel she's wanting to uh, say, hey, I've, I've gone enough. I've done enough. Guys, I've done enough. Oh, there's only one guy on me. Dude, I've done enough. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to flip her here and, and turn around because I don't think she's going to make it. Well, I'll go up to the... Yeah, no, I don't think she's going to make it much further. Okay, that's 25. We'll keep going, but I don't think she's going to make it a whole lot further. And I know she ain't going to make it up that viaduct. People are saying, there you have it. Pedal, lazy. Pedal. No. Oh, there we go. She just turned off. All right. All right, guys. So we're, I don't know, half a mile from the house. And uh, she just died. She's got over 25 miles on her right now. I don't know what. 25.2, maybe? But uh, it's been a great ride. She rides really nice. Really nice. After 25 miles, uh, my my butt is a little a little sore, but I've been on it here. I, I don't even know. I, I've been on it a while. Uh, All right, so we're heading home. We'll charge her up, and we'll see what that number is officially. I think it's 25 point something. It's a good thing these things have batteries and motors. That's a good thing.